Hello guys, welcome back to a new episode how to generate the shared access signature. Yeah. To generate a SAS is uh, better simple. Before doing this let me explain uh, how this it works and some recommendation or best practice when you can use this, uh, this setting. So with SAS you can delegate access to a resource in your storage account without sharing uh, your account key. So actually that's the strong point of uh, this setting and um, Azure Storage support three type of, of SAS. The first one is uh, user delegation that uh, use Azure Active Directory credential and this is applied to blob service only. The second one is a service level and can be delegated just for blob, queue table and uh, Azure files. And the last one, account level, is used to delegate access to all four storage services. Uh, to mention that all these uh, types of shared access signature assign it via URI that uh, points to to one or more storage resource and includes a SAS token that uh, contain a special set of query parameters like validity time, permission, protocols, IP address, uh, type of resource and uh, so on. If this URI is leaked you could be in trouble because uh, your storage account could be compromised and to avoid the, these leaks, follow the best practice below. Okay, so let me start with a demonstration. Uh, I already created a storage account. Uh, I just have to click to shared access signature. And let me begin with uh, account level. Um, this means that this key is related to all services. Before generating the SAS string, uh, you have a lot of options here uh, where you can configure and manipulate uh, for a specific uh, service, resource, uh, of course, the permission, start, and the uh, end time, uh, protocols, and uh, the IP address to allow our. <laughs> for specific IP address, our range of IP addresses. Uh, so the scope of this uh, string is to provide access to the clients that should have access for a while and uh, specific rights. So now let me try to access a file from, uh, from the container. Uh, to do this go to blobs I already created two container here and uh, uploaded some um, image for this demo and let's choose a random image uh, copy the URL and paste so the resource uh, is not available because we don't use the token so let's try to add the token for this URI and uh, and check if uh, so. Let me double this session for easy working. So, start date today and it's okay for me. So let's generate the token, copy this and go to this really and paste the token after image. As you can see the resource uh, is available. Now let's uh, simulate 
an expired token to check if the resource will be will be possible to access so let me change the date 23 generate a new SAS token and let me paste from here um, as you can see we don't have authorization for this uh, image with this token I mean and authentication error detail can be found here and it's about um, time frame okay all these steps are valid also for Azure files tables and um, IQ now let me show you how to generate a service level says for example for a blob file uh, to mention that the token can be not generated at the container level and you have to wait to access your blob files from the specific container uh, first is to change access level for your container and all blobs from this container will be reachable let me do this container ok and now go to inside of this container copy the URL and paste so the, the image is available now um, you should realize that this uh, option could be dangerous because everyone can reach uh, your your data as well this option doesn't offer you uh, flexibility uh, because uh, you can specify the IP address our range our protocols like HTTP or HTTPS the second option is to generate a SAS token for a specific blob uh, this means that you should go inside of container uh, select your blob and generate a SAS here we have uh, option like permission start and the end uh, time uh, configure for specific IP address uh, protocols to use HTTP or HTTPS and now to generate a uh, SAS token copy this this is a blob SAS really and paste here as you can see the image is available and uh, the last one a user delegation SAS uh, to do this uh, you must have a role assignment as a storage blob delegator that will permit you to generate the key and this uh, this role can be added directly via subscription access control our specific blob uh, the next episode will be about this subject how to create a user delegation SAS hope the information for today was uh, useful for you and uh, and see you next time